everyone, and welcome to Making the Best of It, a daily video series helping you make the best of your time at home. Today, we are going to be making a three-dimensional origami butterfly. It is a really cute little project, and since it's finally starting to feel like spring, I thought we could do something that reminded us of spring. I'm also really excited that I finally got colored paper to do this with. Stay tuned if you want to see how to make your own. To start, you'll need a piece of paper, and if that piece of paper isn't square, you'll also need a ruler, some scissors, and a pen or a pencil. Once you have all your supplies, you'll need to cut your paper square if it isn't already. So measure the short side of your paper, mine is 9 inches, and then measure out the same distance on the top and bottom of the long side of your paper, draw a line between those points, and then cut along the line so that you have a square piece of paper. Once you have a square piece of paper, you'll want to fold your paper in half, top to bottom, and then in half from side to side. This will leave you with a cross of folds in the center of your paper. Then, you'll want to turn your piece of paper over and then fold the corners that are diagonally across from each other to each other. So the bottom left corner will fold up to the top right corner and the bottom right corner will fold up to the top left corner. This will leave you with kind of a star shape of folds in the center of your piece of paper. The next step is to take the center of both sides in your hands and then pull them together so that they touch and then flatten the whole thing so you have a triangle. Watch again if you need to. After that, take the top half of the lower points of the triangle and fold them up to touch the top point of the triangle. This will make kind of a diamond in the center of your triangle. Next, flip your piece of paper over and take the top half of the top point of the triangle and fold it down so that it goes past the bottom edge of your triangle. This is going to make a fold that looks a little bit funny, but don't worry too much about that. I started out by folding the top of the triangle just a tiny bit past the bottom, but I ended up going back and making it go a little bit further past. This will leave you with two kind of funny folded areas, but don't flatten those. Leave them how they are. After that, flip your piece of paper over and fold that small little bit of triangle that went over the edge up back onto the main part of your paper. At this point, I realized that the small triangle I folded over the edge wasn't quite big enough and wasn't holding together my butterfly, so I went back and made that triangle a little bit bigger by folding it more over the edge. Hopefully at this point you see a butterfly, and the last step is to take it and fold it in half one last time right down the center to kind of set everything into place. After that, you're all done. I hope you had fun with this. Make just one or make a bunch and hang them all over your house. Um, either way, I hope to see you back again here tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.